Morning guys. So we're all stuck at home. You've probably been watching a couple of my videos and you've been thinking to yourself, I wish I could make some videos like him or, or stream and my videos would be so much better than Kai's. He's an idiot. Well, I'm going to say to you, well, go ahead. And then you're probably going to say, oh, I don't have that awesome GH5 webcam and I don't have a, a decent microphone like Kai has and I can't buy it because everything's out of stock. Now, this is where I say to you, do you have a decent smartphone? Maybe some headphones to go along with it? Then you're probably gonna say, you're gonna say, yeah, well, I don't have a MacBook Pro, do I, and a lightning cable, and uh, you know, I can't use that video source trick that you can do and crop yourself out on, uh, on OBS. I can't do that. And then what if I told you, you could do all that on your Arch Linux machine? How do you get this iPhone streaming and working nicely on Arch Linux? There's no way to do it, is there? I think I found a nice little way of doing it called NDI. Um, it's better explained perhaps in this video that I've got linked above. But let me just show you this workflow that I've been using to stream uh, the last couple of days. So first off, you kind of need a mic stand and you want it to look sort of like on this plane towards you. You don't want it looking up at you through your, your nostril or something like this. So the system that I, I use and I recommend is the quad lock system. I'm just going to put that on this MacBook Pro, which I hate. Importantly, you need to install an NDI client. What does that look like? There's one NDI client for uh, capturing, screencasting the actual uh, phone here. Uh, and then there's one for the camera. So this is what it looks like. And if NDI is blue, that means it's really streaming and you can adjust the quality. I actually kind of recommend going for a low quality because the high quality stutters. But when you put your this thing into like a little window on the side of your screencast, you won't really notice the difference in quality if you just keep it on low. Okay, to make this work, you need a couple of things installed. You need the OBS NDI bin and you need the NDI SDK. Now, NDI is a proprietary thing, just to get you up, got, just put it out there. It sadly doesn't seem as open as I'd nearly like, but it solves a, a major problem. And that problem is getting the, my iPhone's beautiful camera into OBS, which I'm doing right here. So usually they have this on a low setting, as I described, and, and a little window up there on the top right. And that's how I've been streaming. Uh, I'll link to a couple of streaming videos and you can judge for yourself if it's a, a good thing or not. And then as for audio, as I mentioned, I think if you don't have a decent webcam, your, your best bet is to, is to use the, the, the earphones that you got with your camera, earphones that you got with your smartphone. And let's just do a test recording here while looking at my start recording. Hi. Hello, hello. Sorry, my earlier recording didn't work, but just to prove to you that it works, I'm just re recording again uh, on my MacBook with these with this earphones. And you can hear for yourself, right? I mean, and the great thing about this is that it's like so I can... I can move it around. Oh, I have it on high settings now, so it's probably a bit jittery. Probably a bit jittery. And this is the way to do it with NDI. Awesome. I hope you enjoyed that. Please like the video. Please subscribe for more Arch Linux -y type stuff. I look forward to the uh, videos and streams that you produce. I do prefer videos. Do make them short. Please make make them make them good. Thanks. Cheers.